Hi, it's Luke from Breakbulk. We're here with Jack from Thomas Freight. Uh, it must be a record, the youngest company that we've interviewed. How old is Thomas Freight? I appreciate that, Luke. No, we're only nine weeks old. Um, Fantastic. So, but despite our youth, um, we have over 12 years experience within the industry of recruiting for primarily freight forwarders, international okay. freight forwarders, varying in size, uh, and recently getting stuck into the domestic trucking side of the world. So great to be here, see a lot of old faces, a couple of new ones. Absolutely. Awesome. So tell us a bit about how you got started and what you're looking to do. Sure. So um, as I said earlier, we've been in the industry for, uh, for over 12 years, me and Tom combined. I think that it just got to the point where we needed a new opportunity. We felt like we were experienced enough to try our own thing and offer something slightly different to what the freight forwarding world has seen in the recruitment sector. So yeah, um, yeah we've just decided to get head start into it. And, uh, here we are today, yeah. nine weeks later. Yeah, fantastic. And how would you describe the uh, project logistics job market at the moment? Um, it's, um, to be honest, we've been primarily do, doing uh, freight forwarding and trucking. I think that it's, we've definitely seen it a lot busier at the moment, which is a great sign for the industry. Uh -huh. uh, it seems that volumes are starting to head up in the right direction. A lot more uh, opportunities are starting to open up with freight forwarders, varying in size, like we said. Um, there's a lot of sales opportunities out there because everything starts from these new business opportunities. Yeah. But then eventually when they go in there, operations staff and man management staff uh, yeah. are needed after that shortly. Yeah. And we hear a lot about the talent gap. Uh, what do you think that young people are looking for uh, in, a, in a job at the moment? I, I think, the, yeah, absolutely. I think that growth is the biggest thing for them professionally. Yeah. I think that nobody really wants to hop around from job to job. They don't want to be there for three months, find us another company. I think that if you've got a good opportunity with a stable company where they give you opportunities to learn and develop, that you'll keep them for a very long time. So it's not all about the salary? Well, there's obviously an element of that yeah. for sure. I think that salary and money does talk, but I think yeah. that culture is what we hear from our candidates most. We want somewhere with culture. We want somewhere where I can stay for long term because ultimately, you could be paid the highest salary in the world. You could get straight out of college, $150,000 just for argument's sake. But yeah. if it's a horrible, toxic culture, you're going to be moving and yeah. you're going to be wanting to go back down the scale again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what would your advice be to employers for attracting and retaining staff? I think transparency and um, just making sure that you're selling your best products and leaning on the recruitment industry to find you the best talent. I think that the way that a lot of companies out there are recruiting at the moment. You lean on Indeed, they lean on LinkedIn jobs. They don't really know a lot about the recruitment and what we do. Uh, we are experts in this industry. We know the freight forwarding industry and the trucking industry. As long as you give us the ammunition uh, to sell your business as best we can yeah. to these candidates, we will find top end talent for you. Okay. And how do you see your business changing in the next few years? Um, it's difficult to say with us only being nine weeks old. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's all very much go, go, go at the moment. But I mean, we're already having opportunities in different continents. A lot of our clients are asking us, what are we doing in Europe? What are we doing in Canada? What are we doing in Southern America? So I think that okay. because we're nimble and we are young and we are hungry to, to be one of the top names out there in the next couple of years, we're able to diversify not only in the modes of uh, transport that we do serve, the freight forwarding and trucking, we can go into project logistics, we can go into chartering, we can do whatever we want. We're happy yeah. to do that. So you're already working internationally? Yeah, well, I mean, this we're actually based out of the United Kingdom, but okay. we specialise in the US at the moment. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, similar companies out there to us, but I like to think that we're a lot different than what we have to offer. Um, we do like to focus on quality over yeah. quantity, because I know that, unfortunately, recruiters come with a bad rap. Um, there are a lot of transactional businesses there where they'll just hit you with hundreds of resumes without properly qualifying the job. We want to build these relationships with our clients, yeah. find out exactly what they want, why their business is so great, because it helps us find the great candidates and it helps us provide top end talent to them. Yeah. Well, we wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you at Breakbulk events all around the world. Appreciate it. Hopefully we'll have a booth next year. Thanks right. a lot. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.